In this video, we're going to cover the basics of the Zoom Q3HD video camera for EdTPA students. Here's what's included in your kit. A Zoom Q3HD camera, a case, one 2GB SD card, a tripod bag with a tripod and camera plate, and a convenient pocket guide for reference. To begin recording, you'll need one 48GB SD card and at least two AA batteries. Our tests have shown that these two cards work the best. If you get a card that is faster than these, the camera may not be able to keep up with it. By getting larger cards, you will also be able to perform several recording sessions from 2 to 4 hours total. The included 2GB SD card holds under 1 hour of total footage. Each set of AA batteries only lasts for about 2 hours, so make sure you have plenty more with you. We highly recommend changing the batteries every time you record as the camera will perform less reliably as the batteries drain. Before beginning your first recording, you'll need to get the camera ready. First, you'll need to add new batteries. To do this, slide the cover down on the front of the camera, remove the old batteries and replace them. Slide the cover back onto the zoom. Next, turn the zoom on by locating the power button on the right side of the camera and pressing it. To make sure that you are using the recommended HD settings, go into the camera's menu and choose the video quality icon. Move the cursor up or down to highlight the HD 720-30 option and select it by pressing the red button and a check mark should appear next to it. Next, verify the audio settings by selecting the menu button again. This will take you out to the main menu and now you can choose the sound icon. Select format by pressing the red button and then highlighting and selecting AAC. Press the left directional arrow to get back to the sound quality menu, highlight and select bitrate, and on the following menu choose 192 kilobits per second. Hit the menu button three times to get out of the menu and back to the camera live view. Your settings are now visible on the main screen. On the side of the camera just below the power button is the SD card slot. Insert your card like this with the label facing you. Verify that the zoom is reading from the SD card and not the internal memory. To check this, make sure that the on-screen display changes from the memory symbol to the SD card. To get the best recording practices of presentation and lecture recording, place the zoom on the included tripod. Attach the tripod camera plate to the bottom of the zoom by screwing it into the threads. Now, pull back the lever on the tripod head, insert the plate, and release the lever. This locks the camera into place. Press the red button in the center of the control wheel to initiate your recording. On screen, you will see that the remaining time turns red, as well as an indicator appearing in the top left of the screen. To stop your recording, press the red button again. Double check the mic gain control located on the left side of the camera. Make sure that it's set to H for high. Having the recorder set to high gain will help to pick up your audio even when you're a greater distance away from the camera. We've put together a few tips that will help you create better videos in the classroom as well as make your life easier when it's time to submit your videos. Here are the topics in our lesson plan. Camera placement, microphone basics, blurring faces, and light levels. Where you put your camera is critical for getting the best quality video of your teaching demonstration. Place the edges of the frame where you think you will be moving between the most. It's okay if you occasionally leave the frame. Do not rotate the camera. The footage will be recorded sideways and will not fill the 16x9 dimensions of HD video and will include black pillar boxes on each side and will require significant time to rotate in post-production. Moving the camera closer to the action is better. Visually, your activities will be recorded much better than from the back of the room. It will also greatly improve your audio. A main reason the Zoom Q3HD camera was chosen for EdTPA is because it has great stereo microphones. It is critical to remember that your recorded audio is being captured from the camera and where it is positioned. By moving the zoom closer to the source, you will not only improve your recording volume by being closer in proximity, 
you will also reduce the amount of ambient classroom noise. Make sure to face the microphone in your direction as it will also improve your audio quality. If recording a table session, it is important to remember this as your voice will not be recorded as well if the zoom is pointed away from you and at your students. So we're going to talk a little bit about when to use indirect proofs. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, when to use indirect proofs. It is also good practice to repeat questions raised by the students, especially if they are towards the back of the classroom and their pickup range is distant. Okay, so great question. The question was, where was Abraham Lincoln when he was, the night he was shot? One of the biggest problems that you may have to solve with your footage in post-production is the blurring of faces, names on jackets, name tags, or items left on the wall. If your footage is not stationary, a 5 minute video can take hours for you to blur multiple objects in your footage. To prevent this from happening to you, here are a few tips to keep in mind before you begin recording. It is best to keep the camera on a tripod and not panning, tilting, or zooming. Handheld is the worst. If a student is wearing a school hoodie with a name on the back, simply place tape across it to block the identification of them. Remove your name tag prior to hitting the red record button. Place your students engaged in learning in the front rows since you've already identified them as good role models and they have returned personal release forms signed by their parents. If a student has not turned in a release form, simply have them sit further back in the classroom behind the camera. Lastly, make sure that the room is well lit. The Zoom Q3 HD doesn't capture as crisp of an image in dimmer light. If using a projector or document camera, try cracking the blinds a little, or only turn off the front half of the classroom just enough to read the overhead. Remember to visit the Multimedia Lab for assistance with your Zoom Q3 HD camera. We can help with pulling your footage off of your SD card, fixing your videos, or preparing them to submit to your online portfolios.